Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to do this. Let's jump right into it. For this effect, you'll need three shots. First is a shot of you jumping into the air. The second shot is spinning the chair around. And the third shot is a clean plate. Make sure to lock your camera down on a tripod and not have any movements at all when you get these three shots. Import your footage into After Effects and create a new composition. Roughly lay out the sequence of events on the timeline, starting with the jumping shot, the chair rotation below that, and the clean plate at the bottom. Now, we're going to adjust the speed of the jump to make it look like we have a lot of power in the takeoff. Enable time remapping on your jumping shot. Right-click the layer, go to Time, Enable Time Remapping. Add a keyframe at the moment just before you start the jump, and a keyframe at around the apex of the jump. Easy ease the first keyframe by pressing F9 on your keyboard. Adjust the timing of the second keyframe and move it closer to the first keyframe to speed up the jump and to make it look as natural as possible and not so rigid. Trim everything else after this keyframe. Now, duplicate this jumping shot, go to the last frame and freeze this frame. Using the pen tool, mask around yourself. The mask doesn't have to be perfect. As long as you get the general shape, you're good to go. After you've masked yourself out, feather the mask to make it blend a little better with the scene. Keyframe the starting position, then move ahead a few frames and adjust the position of this layer just out of the scene. Once you're happy with the timing, turn on motion blur and it will blend much better with the scene. Now we need to create a mask to make it look like you're going through the ceiling. Create a square mask on the same layer at the start of the clip where the hole is going to be. Change the mask to subtract. Then, click on the stopwatch for the mask path to create a keyframe at this point. Then move to the end of the jump and adjust the mask path to be at the same spot at the beginning of the mask. Now you should have something that looks like this. The jump is already starting to come alive. Now we have to add some details to the jump to really sell the effect as best we can. First, use the puppet tool at the start of the frame. Create points at the main joints. Go to the end of the clip and move the arm and legs closer to make it seem like this still frame is moving. Next, we have to add shadows. To do this, simply create a new black solid. Mask the shape of the solid where the shadow will be based on the lighting of your scene. Feather the mask and keyframe the mask part and position of that mask to match the movements of your jump. Now we have to add all the environmental movements and the actual hole in the ceiling. Let's start with the environmental movements, in this case, the chair spinning around. Enable time remapping on this layer and adjust the speed to look abrupt at the start of the jump and gradually slow down to normal speed. Do this by creating two keyframes, one at the start of the rotation and one where you want the rotation to return back to normal speed. Once you get the rotation that you like, you need to mask yourself out of the frame. Here is where I ran into my first problem. The few frames in the beginning where my arms are in the way are pretty much unusable since my arms are in front of the chair. So to fix this, I took a few frames from later in the clip, unmasked around the chair and placed those masked frames in place of the unusable frames. Adjust the position to match the frames you want to replace. Don't forget to feather the mask to make it blend with the scene a lot better. You'll notice that we're missing the shadows in these few frames, so let's repeat what we did earlier and create a new black solid and mask a shape that resembles the chair. Feather the mask and adjust the opacity of this clip and we should be good to go. All that's left is to create the hole and all the debris that's falling down. For this, I used the Action Essentials 2 pack from Video Copilot. Here I brought in the hole, changed the blending mode to pin light, added a curves adjustment to add a little bit of contrast to the hole, and adjusted the position and size to match the scene of where I was jumping through. Next, I brought in these cracks, changed the blending mode to screen, and adjusted the position. I then masked where I wanted the cracks to be and removed any cracks that I did not want over here. Make sure your crack layers are below the hole layer. Next, I create a very rough circular mask around the hole and keyframe the mask expansion to start at a small hole from the moment of impact to the full size once your body passes through the hole. Do the same for the cracks and you'll have a gaping hole in the ceiling at the moment of impact. 
From here, we just have to layer the assets that you want to use. In this case, I use a few spark assets, some smoke, light and heavy debris, and I'm left with this. Now you'll notice the lights and the tape cardboard to the ceiling are a little bit distracting in this shot. So I use the content aware fill feature to remove these spots. I also masked around the sofa and the fan blade on the ceiling to move them to the foreground since the crack and debris falling are supposed to be behind these two things. Now the last thing to do is to add a camera shake at the takeoff. Pre-compose all the clips and footage, go to the moment just before the takeoff and set a keyframe here for position and scale and move the composition around for the next few frames to create a violent camera shake effect caused by the jump. Now just add some sound effects, music and we're done. A realistic blast through the ceiling. <sighs> Alright guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do recreate this effect, tag me. I'd love to see how you guys put your spin on this. Follow me on all my socials as well. I'll leave a link below the like button. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy. See ya.